Awesome, hi guys and welcome back to our SNA videos. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a 3D cotton goose or swan. So for materials today, you need to get a piece of paper, you need some cotton, some cotton balls, or if you don't have cotton balls, cotton pads are just as fine. Um, you're also going to need some glue, a pair of scissors, and something to draw with and color. Awesome. So. To start off, you're going to want to take uh, your paper and draw an outline of a goose. You can see that this kind of, you can see I made a really simple shape. I added a beak, but I'm not going to add anything else yet because we're actually going to give it like the cotton to make it like really fluffy because a lot of, if you've ever seen a goose, you know it has lots of fluffy feathers. So once you're done drawing the outline, you just take your glue, and I'm using an old paintbrush that I don't mind throwing away because it's going to get really yucky. But you guys can use popsicle sticks too, that can work. And you're just going to cover your goose like this and make sure all the parts are covered. Yeah, perfect. If you use a paintbrush, I suggest you um, clean it afterwards because it will not be good if you just leave it. Awesome. Once you're done, you're going to take your cotton um, or your cotton pads and you're going to break them apart. I really have to break them apart from my cotton pads because the cotton's inside, so it's a little bit trickier, but that is fine. You don't even have to do too much. You can just break them apart like this and it works just as good. Yeah, awesome. And you're going to keep on doing that until you fill up your whole goose. So. I'm just gonna do it really fast. After you're done filling up your goose, you can let it dry for a couple, leave it to dry for a couple of minutes, maybe half an hour, and then you can continue to add things to the background. So once you have your goose all done, you can add like maybe like a river here and maybe some background things like some trees would be nice. Maybe your goose doesn't even live in a river. Maybe it lives in the lava or maybe it lives in a house. So you guys can add whatever background you want after, that's totally fine. Yeah, awesome. So you guys can see that I'm just about done here. After you're done, you can let it dry. And you can even decorate it a little bit by adding like maybe a little dot right here for the eye. I wouldn't suggest more because it's really hard to draw on cotton. If you wanted to, you could probably get a googly eye that would probably work better. And like I said before, you can just like add in some like big leaves, maybe some cattails, and just keep on at decorating. I don't have a lot of, uh, I'm not really putting as much effort into it right now, but you guys can definitely take your time and do that. Awesome, so thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a great time making your cotton goose. <laughs>